Well, hello there, my friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. And today we are going to be doing grouse. This wonderful, wonderful sporting bird. Some say it is the king of the game birds. So what we need to do then is prepare these ready for cooking. But first thing we need to do then is get these bad boys plucked. So I'm just going to grab a handful of feathers off the breast. Doesn't take very long. And just start plucking it. Starting on the breast from the ass end to the neck. Comes very, very quickly. Just being careful, obviously, where it's been shot, if there is any uh, nicks in the skin, just take it nice and easy. But you can see, plucks really easily. Not like a pheasant. So turning it over again from assault beak, just working our way down the neck. Just take a little bit of care in the neck. Now I know this crop is absolutely full. I can feel it there. So around there. Vent, taking out those feathers and then just gently, as you can see, holding the leg up, just pinching and then gently pulling those feathers away. And you can see there in a matter of minutes, it's almost done. So remove those feathers again with the wings. I'm not going to save them. I'm just going to take them off. One, two, snapping through and then take the neck off. Tidying it up again, just below the breastbone, two fingers in, to the back and pull. This one, we've actually got a bit of liver. Just wipe my hands. And then getting back in there, getting that heart out. Then we'll have a look at its crop. Should be full of lovely green heather. I can pull that out. And you can see what it's been feeding on. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so again, I just want to give this a swill under the tap. Just round this vent. Obviously, I think a shot's penetrated it. Just cleaning it up. And then we can have a look at it once we've got the water on it. Just going to quickly take out the windpipe. Very simple, separate it from the neck and pull. And that is that one pretty much done. So there's our plucked and gutted grouse. All I want to do now is just to truss those up a little bit, just to pull them together so they cook evenly. I've got my string here. Now, if you want to, you can leave the legs on or you can cut them off just below the feathers. I'm going to leave them on. So what we do is we're laying the string over the leg and I'm just going to go round the one drumstick, just like that. And then with the other, exactly the same. I'm going to cross those over and just tie a very, very simple knot just to bring those legs together, making sure we are under the breastbone there. I'm going between the drumstick and the thigh and I'm connecting round the back, as you can see here, with the neck. 
and now I'm just going to tie it off. Just a very, very, very simple truss. A couple of knots so it doesn't come undone. Cut it off. And there we have our one grouse keeping its legs on, ready for roasting. Right, they are ready to be roasted. Beautiful. Okay then my friends, on to cooking this beautiful grouse. Now we are gonna be doing the traditional method of cooking grouse, it may take a while, but stick with us. This is the old school traditional way of cooking it. Basically we are gonna roast it in the oven. First of all, we're gonna brown it off in some lard. Then we're gonna roast it off in the oven with some juniper berries in the cavity. Then we will serve it on some nice rounds of toast, which will be spread with a pate made from the liver and the heart. Very traditional. Then it will be served with a bread sauce. Bread sauce is made from breadcrumbs. And then in here, I've got some milk, half a pint of milk, which I have brought to the boil. I put in half an onion with about six cloves in, six peppercorns and a bay leaf. And what we'll do then is we'll strain off the vegetables and the spices, warm it up, add our breadcrumbs. That will be our bread sauce. Again, a traditional accompaniment to grouse or most game. And then we will plate it up. So I'm looking forward to this. Oh yes, before I forget, always traditionally served with watercress. Right then, let's get on and do this. So first thing I need to do then, I'm just going to, if I can, just lightly crush these juniper berries. Just like that, very simple. And then with my grouse, I wanna get some seasoning inside, plenty of seasoning. So get some pepper in there, get some nice sea salt in there, get our juniper berries in there, and then get some seasoning all over the bird. Plenty of salt and pepper. And then that is ready to be browned off in the pan. So we'll move over to the cooker. So I've got my pan on the heat, my lovely lard just slowly melting away. Now the reason I'm using this deep wok style pan is it allows you to rest your bird up the sides so you can get a even colouring. I mean you know how difficult it is, you lay it in and then trying to hold it in place, you can just prop it up. It's a great way of doing it. So once that comes up to heat then we will pop the old grousey in and start the process of adding some colour and browning it off. Okay then, let's get that in. So first of all, one side, we'll just give it a couple of minutes. As you can see there, propped it up against the side, absolutely ideal. So let's just check that. As you can see, got some nice colour on that leg and the start of that breast. So again, over to the other side, prop it up. Like I said earlier though, if you want to take the legs off, take them off by all means. I just like them on there. I think they look pretty cool. Lovely colour on the other side. So what I'm going to do then is just put it on its back. See the colour we've got on there. So again, I'm going to prop it up and work on these breasts. Ooh, there, missus. Okay then, that's got a lovely bit of colour. Just have a look how gorgeous that grouse looks. So I've got my oven at maximum temperature, gas mark nine. I'll put the conversion up there. Now I've got a tray already warming in there. I'm gonna put this on the tray in the oven, full power for six minutes. And then in the meantime, I shall start preparing the pate with the livers and the heart, which I've got here. And then I will finish off the bread sauce. So 
we're going to slam this in for six minutes. So I just want to show you this neat little trick. You need your bird to be able to sit upright. If it won't sit upright, just sacrifice half an onion, just like that, and make a rest. It's genius, it's simple, it works baby. Okay then, so we want to retain those cooking juices. Obviously there'll be some more that come off the grouse. That is what we're gonna fry our fried bread in, basically game fried bread. It's gonna be awesome. But in the meantime, we need to finish off this bread sauce. So I'm gonna put that back on the heat and just gently bring it to a simmer. Okay then, just to reiterate then, that was half a pint of milk, half a medium onion with six cloves studded into the onion, one bay leaf and about six peppercorns, brought it up to the boil, turned the heat off, let it sit for about an hour and a half, strained it off so we're just left with the milk. Back on the heat, now what we need to do is put some breadcrumbs in. We don't want this too thick, we don't want this too thin, so we play it by ear. I reckon about two ounces. And what we need to do is put that in, give it a stir. Obviously you can adjust it accordingly. And then just let it gently simmer. So all these breadcrumbs take on all the liquid and inflate, but we want a drop in consistency. Now you can add a bit of ground nutmeg to this if you want to, which I will do. And then we'll just check it for seasoning. So we'll just let that gently tick over. And I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of butter to that bread sauce. Just keep an eye on it. Now my grouse has been six minutes. Six minutes. So I will take that out of the oven. And what we'll do is we'll rest that for 10 minutes. And then by the time that's ready to carve, that'll be done. Then we can just get on and make that lovely little pate which will go on our toast by frying our livers and hearts in some butter. We'll flambe it with some brandy and then we'll mash it up on the toast. Bread sauce, grouse on, watercress shoved up its jacksy. Jobs are good. Just wanna check if it's nice and firm. We want to serve this pink or medium rare, you know, you don't want to undercook it. Then again, like all good game, you don't want to overcook it. So, so that's quite tender to the touch and I'm happy with that. So what I will do is I will transfer that to a plate and we'll keep that warm. And then any juices that come off it, we will put into maybe a little gravy. But what I will do is I will rest it on its breasts. Again, using those onions to hold it up and that allows all the juice that was rested in the cavity to seep down into the breast. So we're not gonna cover it with foil, we're just gonna let it do its thing on its own. Beautiful, look at that. My bread sauce took up all the milk, it needs to be a drop in consistency, just like that. What I need to do then is Keep that warm. In the meantime, put that on the back. We need to start frying off that liver and that heart. So a little bit of heat under our pan, get some butter in until it's foaming. In with our hearts and our liver. Give them a good coating. Just let them fry gently for about two minutes. So I've turned the heat up, gonna add a touch of brandy. Give it one of them, look at that. Flambe, then we'll retrieve the hearts, we'll put it where the grouse is resting. Then what we need to do then is just mash the livers. I'm just gonna put that back on so we can do our toast. So just with the back of a fork, just mash it up. Make sure you get all that buttery brandy goodness. I mean, if you don't fancy it, obviously don't do this, but you know, this is the full Monty. So we will, only a little bit it is, but 
it's authentic, it's original, it's traditional. Get our toast in. Okay then, so you can if you want to put your grouse straight on to your toast hole, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off the bone. So very quickly down one side of the leg, take one off very quickly back on my plate and then simple snap that one off let's get rid of that and we're left with the crown I mean another way you could serve just the crown but what I'm going to do if I can grab hold of it is just remove the breasts oh look at it let's have a look at that beautiful cooked to perfection just give it a trim up that's ready to plate okay then you beauties the moment we've been waiting for there's our lovely toast now we get on our little liver only a tiny bit but just spread it around a bit extra flavor extra body next we will get our beautiful grouse now bearing in mind folks I ain't no chef and you know that and I don't pretend to be so you know you have to excuse my plating up just going to look like an odd 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 creature if I can get them to sit up some of that bread sauce traditional and then again the traditional accompaniment is watercress so a little watercress and then you can just add a little bit of gravy just over the bird only a little bit give that a wipe and there you have it not the best presentation but hey ho this is real food for real people it's all in the taste okay then Let's dive into this. I'm going to start with the leg. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Try a bit of that toast, that pate. Get a bit of that breast on. Get a bit of that bread sauce on. Oh man. That is so nice. Let's have a bit of watercress. Let's keep it real. Bit of that, bit of the pate, bit of gravy, bit of bread sauce. I really like that pate on that toast. Okay then, I'll be back in a moment. Wow, what an epic journey that grouse has been on. Just have a look at that. How beautiful is that? Got a bit of gravy left here. Put it on that, like that. Bit of toast. A little bit of toast. Down my Gregory Peck. Well, there you go. That was my traditional whole roasted grouse. And I hope you enjoyed watching that episode. I mean, I love things like this. These are old school recipes. They don't need messing with. They've been done for years. They work. It was absolutely superb. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen here today on the SRP, please do click on my face when it shows up down here. Also find me on my social media, on my Facebook, Scott Ree and the Scott Ree Project pages. Get on there, click the follow button. She'll be up on the top left somewhere. You can see what I get up to on there. Also on my Twitter, at the Scott Ree Project. And if you're feeling generous, I know I say this a lot, please do check out my Patreon page, 
the link will be in the comments. So until next time, if you do get the chance to have a grouse, it must be done this way. You know, it is the authentic way. And it was really, really, really gorgeous. So until next time, my friends, take care. All the best. Thank you for watching.